Hey there guys, it's the Jurors. So today I'm going to be showing you how to build the Villager Totem Pole. Uh, the Villager Totem Pole is like a trading system that I designed for villagers and I have it currently in my SMP world. Um, so the way it works is you have all the villagers stacked up like that and then one villager down here. So you come up here, you trade with this villager until his trades lock up. Wow, Power 5 book, very nice. Um, and then once his trades lock up and you want to trade with a new villager, you simply press this button and it dispenses a new guy to trade with. So yeah, um, and once uh, once you're done with one guy, uh, after you press this button, he gets pushed back into an elevator and cycles back around. So hopefully by the time he comes back down, his trades are unlocked again. All right guys, let's get right into building this bad boy. Um, so you're going to uh, start out with a five x five platform. <laughs> I'm not too used to being in creative mode, so uh oftentimes walk around despite the fact that I can fly. <laughs> and then once you have your 5x5 five five platform, you're just going to put a block here and a block here. And on with one space in between. And on the space in between, you're going to put a regular piston um, facing, a, facing that way. Um, and this side is the side that you're going to stand on. Um, we'll put the button down right here. So make sure that you put this side wherever you want the front of the machine to be. All right, and once we're done with that, we're going to put a piece of redstone right there, um, a glass block above it, and uh, then you're going to go 10 up, or 10 more glass blocks up in a pillar. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. And then we're going to do the same thing over here, but we're just going to do all 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So these should be, two should be the same height, uh, and the indeed are. So then you're going to come over here, break these two blocks out, take a trapdoor, put it on the one, two, three, the fourth block on the bottom side, like so. And then you're going to put a solid block right here. And on that solid block, you're going to put a repeater. Let me grab a repeater real quick. Um, so you're going to put a repeater facing into that trapdoor, and you're going to take it out all the way. And then you're going to come down here, remove this block, um, put a sticky piston facing up with a solid block on top of it. Um, if you do not have a sticky piston laying around and you want to use a regular piston, you can do that, but you have to make sure that this block that you put on top is a uh, sand or gravel or something that uh, a block that is affected by gravity and is also a full block. Um, then you're going to put two repeaters behind um, that piston block and take those out all the way as well. Then you're going to come over here, come out three, build two up, um, this, these are temporary blocks, um, and then you're going to take a half slab, put it on the top side of that block right there, then you can remove this back side. You can also remove that block. And then once you're done with that, you're going to put a block on top of that half slab, one, two, three half slabs coming off that block on the top side of them, uh, then one block there, or one half slab there. And you're just going to run this redstone all the way down, hook into these guys. And so now when you press this button, this piston should fire, and this uh, trap door should flap down and flap back up. There we go, looks good. We're like halfway done here, guys. And once you're done with that, um, we're going to start on the elevator to get the villagers back up to the top. And we'll do that by making a pillar with solid blocks all the way to the top here, to the top of the design. So it should be uh, on the same level as the glass blocks. Perfect. And then you're going to come down here, Break this block out and take a piston and uh, one, two on the second block up. You're going to put a pist piston that's uh, facing downwards. And then you can go ahead and uh, replace that block. So now you're going to put three more pistons all facing downwards with uh, one space in between them. So, oops. One, two, three. Oh, you're actually going to put four, new, four more. Yeah, perfect. Uh, then you can come up here, break out those two blocks. Um... And so now you're going to want to break out the block right behind each piston. So that one, that one, that one. Just do this all the way up. All right, once you're done with that, you're going to um, take a redstone torch, put one right there, clear out a 2x4 area in the back here. 
Then also the block right two below the torch, take that out. And then you're gonna put a redstone torch on top of that. And then while we're here, we can also clear out these blocks there. So now we're gonna go over to this uh, turned off redstone torch and we're gonna put a block right on top of it by looking at the hitbox of the torch and placing the block. Then we're gonna put a torch here on the side of the block and it's gonna fire that piston down. That is uh, completely normal. That should be happening. If it doesn't happen, then you have issues. Uh, then another torch on that side, solid block on top of it, torch, torch, solid block, torch, torch. We're just gonna do this all the way up. And But for this last block, um, instead of putting the torch right here, as we were for the pattern, we're gonna come around to this side instead put the torch down and so now you should have all your sticky pistons extended and they should stay that way until we do this next step all right for this part we're going to need a solid block of redstone and a sticky piston so we're going to take the sticky piston put it facing this way uh towards that torch and then we're going to put the solid block of a uh, redstone right in front of it and then we're also going to put a um, a block of redstone right there, and a block of redstone right here. And after you do that, you should hear all the pistons retracting. So now you should have every single piston retracted. Um, and if you do, then you've done this right so far. And then right here, we're gonna replace these with uh, blocks just to differentiate it from the uh, grass around it. Um, but then we're gonna take this redstone line and lead it into this piston. So now when we hit this button, this piston should fire, trapdoor should flicker, and this line of uh, of pistons should fire. Perfect. If that is happening on yours, then you have done it correctly so far. And now we're pretty much done, so uh, we just need to uh, take care of the top area. I'm going to need that glass block, though. So now we're going to take a glass block, um, put two right there, break out the bottom one, and then bring this glass pillar all the way to the top of the, the build so that it's uh, parallel with these glass blocks. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put a block there and then put some walls up like this and one back here. Um, now we're going to need a sign and a bucket of water. So we're going to put the sign right here, and then we're going to put the bucket of water down. And as you can see, um, the water flows, but it will not flow into this block um, because the sign is there. So the sign is very necessary. Make sure you get that down, guys. Uh, make sure you do it before you put down the, the water, obviously. Otherwise, you'll have uh, water spreading all over your build and destroying redstone, doing horrible, horrible things. Um, so once you have that, um, when we click this button, just take, check it one more time just to make sure everything functions. And so now we just gotta get the villagers in. Let's see here, we're just gonna grab a, a torch and some powered rail to get them in there uh, efficiently. We also need a minecart and the villagers themselves. Um, so we're gonna be using a villager egg to get them in there because we are in creative mode. But if you were playing this on a survival world which is probably where you'll be building this um you'll have to grab your villagers either from a village or by cleansing a villager zombie and so right there here he is going to take some damage because he's going to fall to the bottom there uh, but and if that bothers you you could put a slime block um right above this trap door and then remove it after the villagers are all, lo are all loaded in but um, he shouldn't take damage again ever, so it's okay that he takes that small amount of damage. However, if you, however, if you do build this chute taller um, because you want more villager storage, uh, you should make sure that you do put the slime block there so that they don't die when they're falling down. But uh, this is the four villager version. Version, As you can see, we have four villagers in there. Uh, and so for this design, it's not an issue. So let's get three more villagers in there real quick. Oh. And also, guys, make sure that uh, you are using four villagers. It has to be four. 
Ooh, I'm having trouble getting them in there now. Um, because any less, and they will be taking damage as they cycle through. So that is no good. Alright, once you have them all in there, you can just uh, remove the rail, put that block back. And then to close the whole system, we're going to um, put three glass, glass blocks across the top here. That way uh, no mobs get in or anything like that. And then we can try it out. Um, so to load the first one in, you just click the button. He drops down. Here he is. You can trade with him uh, until he has nothing else that you want. And you press the button. And a new one drops down. Cool. Perfect. Looks like it works. Ooh. Not quite affinity. Alright. Uh, and then you can just round the uh, build off. Cover up the redstone. Do whatever you think would look pretty. There it is, guys. The villager totem pole. Uh, I hope you guys like this video. This is my first tutorial video that I've ever done. Um, so if you have any feedback or anything like that, um, I would love to hear it. Oh, also, uh, this design for the um, the piston elevator, uh, I'll give you guys the video for it in the description. Uh, I'm blanking on the guy's name right now, but uh, it's very compact, very cool elevator. Uh, so I decided I'd implement it into my design. All right, thank you guys for watching. Have a great day.